Evening. Recovering in third class. Hello, students. Welcome to everybody. Shut up, please. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. Welcome. It's a Hello, pleasure. Good evening, to teacher. You know, what I love to be here Goodbye. is like most of the time you always come very early before the time you're here. So congratulations. You are very responsible, guys. So I just want to know a little bit. How was your day? Tell me about your day. Fine. Very tired. No, no. That's, that's okay, but we need some rest, teacher. Um, that's okay. Yeah, I totally that's understand. Okay. Perhaps you're thinking about Good evening. Vacation. Good evening, Emerson. Right. So perhaps you're thinking about vacations. Some of you will have vacations this the next month. The Holy Week, are you having vacations? En la espera de las vacaciones de yes, Semana Santa. Sure. Yes, you do? <laughs> okay, that's great. Yes, yes. So, do you have some plans for vacations or you had to do some other things? Do you have some plans for vacations? Oh, uh, Do you have some plans for vacations? No plans. Yes. Okay. Activity yeah, yeah. shorts at home, activities at home with family. So um, go to the beach. Okay, that's a tradition. <laughs> Obviously, it's important. You know, go and drink a coconut. Eat, you know, have a good time with people. Hey, get a okay. tan. So there are great things that perhaps we can take into account, guys. So think about that. So if you haven't thought, make plans because it's important to make plans and have a good time because we deserve it. We work a lot. We work so hard, so we need some time for resting. Okay, that's important. Okay, so with this motivation, because we're talking about vacations, it's a good motivation, obviously. So let's start today, and I just want to ask you, um, what we studied in the class? Tell me, what do you remember we did yesterday? Tell me about it. Simple. Dale, Cesar. Dale, Santi. Okay, simple pass and pass continue. Yesterday we practice. We was practice with them. Yeah. Okay, thank you guys. Well, yeah, that's right. So we were uh, talking about always the the past simple and the past continuous the combination of both. Um, so we also we were working some exercises too about some news. Especially we had the opportunity to um to think about a title and write a news a report. And with your groups, you were going to talk a little bit about that. And we will continue, guys, working with some exercises too. And also, and we don't have to like stop learning. All the time we learn, all the time we practice. So let's introduce the presentation here. And let's see what happened here in this part. And let's see, you know, the time is actually going so fast that I can't believe it, that we are in the following lesson. Look at this one. Um, the, what's the topic? Is the past perfect? Yes. So it's going to be a pretty easy and piece of cake because we have been talking about that. So, and also uh, something that I was like thinking, if you can allow me one moment, please. Um, one second. Okay, much better. Let's see. I'm going to go back to the presentation because I was trying to change something here. Okay, so you can see here the topic is the past perfect. So we started the combination between the past perfect and the past simple. So in that case, we're going to change because the past perfect, it's the focus about that. For you, will be a kind of review. And uh, look at that. Something that attracts my attention is that we are in the video conference 11. Look how fast the time goes. So that means that the next week we'll, we'll be completing this model and you will go on to the next level so i you need to push yourself and feel good because you're going beyond your english level in, in every single class we have to practice 
So uh, my personal goal is to make you speak, that you produce the language. Speak, 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 try. In the class, you can try. So that's why I always encourage you not to use Spanish because you don't need a Spanish anymore. And um, that's why we need to push ourselves to, to practice English. So let's start. Ready? Dina, are you ready? Yes? Excellent. Elvis, are you ready? Excellent. Sarah, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent. So let's start and see what happened here. And we have the first challenge. We have a listening exercise. So for this, I will share with you by this mean um, a link. So you will listen the following link and you will have access to it. You click on it and you will um, have to look for this one. Let me share it by our chat. So look at the chat right now and I will share a link. You will uh, listen carefully this link, but look at this. You had to listen this conversation and you had to answer the following questions. Number one, you can see the equation number one and then, and you will listen the, and what is the possible answers for number two? So I want you to focus on this, number three. Um, the movie, Friends, whatever is rated. So you have to select the best answer. Number three, for 16 years old, how much does a ticket cost for four? 15 p.m. showing of gold for the gold. And also all tickets are $2 on. And the movie theater is located downtown in 1313 Southeast. So I want you to listen carefully. And I want you to help me to answer in that case and uh, this information. So can you see the link? Yes, I can. Could you send a link, a uh, chat of uh, WhatsApp? It's here, so uh, you can see it. It's in, it's in the chat here. So you click on it and automatically you will go on to the page. Okay, so I will give you uh, some minutes, a couple of minutes to listen and then try to answer it. If you have a question or any comments, let me know. And also, if you finish, please do me a very valuable, valuable answer. Chat and say, teacher, I finished the listening. Please do me that favor. General listen, please, uh, movie show times. So listen and then we go back. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I have just arrived here and I can't see the, the link in the chat. Could you resend it? Yes. Uh, can you check now? Yes, thank you. Excellent. Okay. okay. Good luck.
Hold on, Ms. Rainey. A little more minutes, please. Okay, that was an easy conversation or difficult. Tell me your experience. Was easy to understand the speakers or was it kind of difficult? I think it's a kind of, uh, kind of difficult. And, and, this, I, uh, try. and, and this conversation is, to, yeah, tell me. Yes, it's very difficult to, to listen. It's about a cinema. It's 40, 45 minutes. It's speaking very faster. Yeah. Very faster, and his pronunciation is uh, faster. <laughs> yeah, well. definitely. Yes. So, and also this conversation is like, they is like intermediate English level. So, that's mean that we had to work a little bit more about the listening skills, you know. Uh, some personal experience, I can tell you that when you listen English, like very often, it's a kind of normal. You are adapted to listen this kind of conversation and understand better. So it's recommendable in that case. And my recommendation is always like to watch series or movies in English with normal English, because this conversation is that's very normal conversations. We know that English has variants, like, for example, uh, some people they speak fast, some people they speak slow, depending they who they are, where they are, what state. So you had to adapt to this accent. So it's very recommendable to practice and listen or listen, listen, listen. So you will be familiar with this type of accent. And also the speed of a conversation is, and that's what we can tell, talk about. Okay, so let's see here. Um, the first one. So tell me, how many minutes before show time does the box office open? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. minutes. Excellent. That's cool. Okay, number two. What about the number two? It's rated. G. Okay. That's right. So it's rated G in that case. That's okay. And number three, what about the number three? Four dollars and 15 cents. Okay, for 50, right? So, in for 50, in that case, uh, for 50, right? That's good. And what about the number four? What can you tell me about it? Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, yes. Tuesday. Tuesday, so uh, you know it's cheaper. You have an special discount if you go on Tuesday, so you can see that it's a good price, right? And the last one, the um the number five. What do 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 you have for the last one? What is the address? Teacher, no se mira la la pregunta. Um. Don't you see it? Let me check. I scroll up. What about now? Yes, I see. Okay. 
Igual se ve y no tenemos la respuesta. Es 260. 260. 260. Yeah. That's the address. 260. That's okay. Congratulations. So, you know, that's good. And uh, also with numbers and everything. So, yeah, it, it's I good. Wish. I remember when I was studying English time ago, I used to listen a lot, you know, native speakers. So that can help you to work with the accent and also the pronunciation, the speed. So we go step by step learning in the process. So thank you guys and congratulations for the work done here. We'll continue with the following activity. And we have a, a, a speaking activity because you're good for that. I have seen that, you know, during our conversations that most of you are good for communicating, good for speaking, good for sharing some ideas in English. So that's very awesome. That's one of the ways that we, we had to do, right? Because we are practicing, we are writing, we're thinking in English, and it's a very nice experience. Okay, I need a volunteer for helping me to read the instructions and also the equations we have right there. Who wants to help me? Me, teacher. Oh, thank you, Alvis. Write a new story for one of the headlines in exercise six, or use your own idea. First, answer these questions, then write your article. And the questions too. Okay. Who was involved? Where did it happen? Why did it happen? When did it happen? How did it happen? What was the outcome? Excellent. Thank you so much. So guys, if you remember the last class, we had the opportunity to write a report or write a headline. And some of you talk about something specifically. And now what I want you to do is to be creative, okay? You will become an special reporter. And you have to think about a news, could be a general news, you can write about whatever you want, but has to be relevant and also has to be important. So I want you to think about this story and also use your own ideas, your own creativity, and you will have to um, answer these questions to have like a guideline in order to know what to do. So that's what you had to do, guys. Oh, you had to include in your report who was involved, people, neighbors involved, the president was involved, the the uh, some uh, people on the street. I don't know. You can think about it. Where did it happen? It happened on the street, and also what? Why did it happen? It happened because the accident, the car was very fast, and the accident occurred. And when did it happen? It happened yesterday. Or oh, like two days ago, five days ago, or today, I don't know. How did it happen? It was uh, something that happened. It, it was raining so hard. And also there was a huge storm. And what was the outcome? So what happened at the end? Well, at the end, it, it stopped raining and everything came back to normal. So you had to think about this news. And also these six questions can help you to give some ideas about it. Okay. Teacher, no podemos tomar la, la historia de ayer. No, has to be a new one. You have to be creative. Hay que ser creativos. Think about it. It could be about sports. I mean, also it could be about sports. Puede ser de deportes, puede ser entertainment. Could be um, the news of the country. Could be about economy. So you can also think about, you know, category about this headline. So think about it and also try to answer these questions in the in the short news. If you have any questions or doubt about the vocabulary, you can also use the chat or you can let me know and I will be more than glad to help you. After we do that one, we will take a short time to share or news report to a classmate. And we are going to select one student that is going to read um, his or her 
a story to the class. Luego vamos a elegir eh, a un estudiante de acá, el más votado para que nos lea su historia. ¿Les parece? No. A ver. ¿Qué dicen ustedes? No los veo muy convencidos. Este, Raquel, para usted, ¿quién sería un candidato? Emerson, el suertudo. Ah, vaya. Grupo. Sería buen candidato. A ver, para usted. Emerson. 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 Emerson también. Ah, vaya, mire, ya tenemos un cliente ahí. Excelente. El más votado. Está bien. La gente lo aclama, dicen. <ríe> ok. So, Emerson, vaya preparando su historia. Tisha, creo que tengo problemas de conexión. Ah. <ríe> El viejo truco. <ríe> la más quemada. Ah, ya. Yeah. Esa historia la podemos. Le voy a decir ahí. Ok. So, think about it and think about your story and also be creative. Think about something you know o alguna noticia que usted haya escuchado y la puede transformar también. So it's going to be an insumo, right? So that can help you guys. So I will give you a couple of minutes. And also you can think about your story and you transfer that one. If you have any questions or doubt, you can also ask questions. You use the chat and I will be more than glad to help you guys. So let's go. Take your short time and let's do it.
stove so ready, teacher. Thank you so much. Great. Uh, someone else finished too? Yes? Almost. Almost, right? I'm okay. The yes. Excellent. Okay. That's okay. So, meanwhile, we're going to take advantage about a time and I will check the attend list. Okay, let's check. So you listen your name and you say present. And uh, Brigitte Lisette Eraso. Brigitte. Uh, Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Cesar Alexander Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Um, Edith Araceli Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Alexander Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Elvis Aníbal Rauta. Present. Um, Emerson Alexander Mejia. Present teacher. Thanks. Eneida uh, Jaminet González. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Roberto Aldana. Present. Thanks. Javier Ernesto Lucero. Present. Eh, Karen uh, Suleima Ciseña. Present. Thank you. Laura Michelle Arce. Laura. Eh, María Catalina Corea. María Catalina. Eh, Marvin Fernando Marcel. Marvin. Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alberto Rodriguez. Oscar. And Raquel Arely Santos. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Santiago Antonio Chávez. Present teacher. Eh, Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Ok. Thank you. As part of the Lombard, also, this event unfolds, our city Lombard, the event unfolds, will. Hi. The event, the event. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you want to, you want to read? Read it to the class? Yo creo que Raquel quería participar. Yeah, that's yeah. why. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Estaba corrigiendo. <laughs> okay, so guys, we're gonna take a short time to share it with the um, with the groups, small groups. We will share your news and also you as a team, you can give a kind of feedback to the class, seeking so you your opinion about this news or not. You had freedom to to do that one, guys. So we're going to work in the breakup rooms. And you will share this information to your partners. So let's see here, because of the time, we're going to make a small groups for three or four. Because we don't have too, um, too much time. Okay, I think it's okay. Let's see. 
Yeah, I think it's enough. Okay, so we will create the breakout rooms. Uh, look at your screen because you will see the invitation and later you will uh, have access to it. So wish you good luck and let's try. Mm -hmm. The exercise is writing a new or ah, okay. Cool. Write a new story for oh. in. <laughs> In my case, I don't have in the, the news because I am going to the house and I don't have paper, but I don't know you if you have a new, I listen. <laughs> I'm going to listen. Okay, I have my Edit. my news history. Um, okay, I listen. Okay, I start. Uh, in the industrial zone of Antiguo Cuscatlan, on Monday, March 13th, a war accident occurred where a worker was making electrical connection in an electrical station when a, a discharge caused damage to his left arm. It was caused by a failure of the electrical system. That's all. Okay. I remember the the news, the new news. <laughs> Yesterday I remember the and uh, when the driver um, accidentally uh, lose the control for the track and successfully, for example, in, in San Salvador, and, and I don't know who said occasional or the, the problem with a lot of cars and I, I think the the people lost the, the life in, in this accident and a lot of uh hard hard a lot of people in this accident you remember yesterday I I, I think so the the accident for the driver of the truck. Mm -hmm. Do you know about this news? Yeah. 
Yes, I heard about that. Uh, it was a tragical accident. It's, it's caused by a failure in the truck, in the brakes on the truck. Lose the, the driver lose the control for, I, I think the, the truck uh, have a, a, lot of, a lot of heavy, heavy product in the truck and when the driver lose the control, eh, provocar, como sería, I don't know, eh, provocó the accident and a lot of cars eh, track o algo así, se chocar, ¿no? Uh -huh. Yes, the, the driver say that he lost the brakes of the truck. And crash, uh -huh, crash. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. He don't stop the truck or avoid the accident, the other cars. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was terrible yesterday. It's a very bad accident. Ah, uh -huh. cows, cows. The, the driver caused the accident because lost the control for her for his truck. And you edit. What is your new? In in my case, a newspaper article. Uh, is government schools Avianca? Um, now it will be possible to take campero and campestre chicken at no extra charge. In Avianca Islands, in, in the other islands. Is that? <laughs> Why the a lot of people travel with? It's a story. It's true. My story is true. It's true. All right. Four years ago, four years ago, it was June month. We were at home with my mother in law uh, when suddenly started the rain. This day is was raining cats and dogs, and near to home, there is a river, and there is a bridge, puente. The rain, the rain was so much. That's why the bridge fall, the cayó puente. After three years, the city built the new bridge después de tres años la alcaldía hizo un nuevo puente now we have a nice and modern bridge ahora tenemos un bonito y nuevo puente that's it that's good that's good that's good yes mm -hmm. three years uh, we were Without a bridge. Tres años estuvimos sin puente. Oh my God. Yeah. It's tragic. Uh, we walk uh, so much uh, to arrive to city. Caminábamos mucho para poder llegar a la ciudad. It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's the problem. Yes. 
the gas, um, the time. It's, and, uh, and the street, it's it's it was bad. Uh, many rocks. Destroyer, destroyer is the kind. Many holes, mucha piedra, mucho hoyo. Right. Yes. My God. Elvis, what's happening? What's happening to you? Okay, guys, we're back, and also there are some other classmates that are joining, and congratulations for the work done. I could see that some of you were very creative. Try some stories. Some stories were uh, written by you. Some others were like some previous news that you had, you remember. So you socialized this story with the equations we have here. So that was successful. I totally, I totally agree with that. So congratulations, guys, for that part. And that's all the way we can do it. Okay, we continue with the next part of the activity because we still have a couple of minutes to uh, explain briefly this information about the past perfect. So it will be a review for you because we have studied the past perfect. And also, so I need a volunteer for helping me to read the information about the past perfect. Who wants to help me to read? Me, teacher. Yes. I read, I read, teacher. Morena. Um, my stories happened a couple of years ago when I went on a school show by uh, the Jiquilisco with some friends and my husband. We, we ate we swam and we played soccer. But it happened that I fell and fractured my foot. But I was a fun day. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Well, that was great. So in that case, we are saying that it used the past perfect for an event, as you mentioned, something that happened before another event or a period of time in the past. Like, for example, I, I was cleaning the house when my mother called me. So one action was interrupted. So we use past perfect to talk about an action that occurred in a specific time in the past. So it's important to identify this structure. So I could say in Spanish about the past perfect, Um, es decir, eh, en español este se le llama como el pretérito plus cuan perfecto. Ese es conocido gramaticalmente en español. Entonces, este lo ocupamos eh, para indicar una acción pasada ocurrida con anterioridad a otra también que pasaba, es decir, y con anterioridad a otro tiempo. En este caso, para nosotros sería como un tiempo pretérito. Es un tiempo verbal, como dicen, perfecto. Es decir, una acción fue interrumpida por otra en el pasado. Yo estaba eh, comiendo cuando comenzó a llover. Entonces, una acción fue interrumpida por otra. And, but what I want you to see is like the structures, like the past event, like I was working out and the past perfect event. And I had put my stuff in the locker. Yo estaba, eh, I was working out, estaba trabajando, ejercitándome. Y había puesto, I had put, my stuff in my locker. Había puesto mis cosas en el locker. En este caso, el had, siempre lo vamos a utilizar, el había, right? Había alguien, había, eh, nosotros habíamos, ustedes sabían, had stolen my wallet. Someone has sto had stolen my wallet. 
Alguien había robado mi billetera. Eh, cuando yo digo, when I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. Cuando yo regresé, alguien había robado mi eh, billetera. They were able to steal it. Ellos fueron capaces de robarlo because I had forgotten to lock the locker. Entonces ellos habían, eh, ellos fueron capaces de robarlo porque había olvidado, had forgotten. Eh, en este caso, pues ponerle llave al casillero, que en este caso es locker. Pero vamos a hacer unos ejercicios eh, in a briefly way, because of the time, that can help us to, you know, have a short feedback. And I need to, like, share a different screen. Vamos a utilizar esto. Y vamos con el primer. Tenemos que tratar de escribir estas oraciones en el pasado perfecto. Dice que el verbo es sleep. ¿Cómo sería acá para decir que ella ha vivido? Ella había vivido en Suecia antes que ella se fuera a Noruega. I have to live. I live. She has lived. Yeah, she in... had lived. She had lived in, in, Sw in Sweden. In right? Yes. And number two is after we and also eat. ¿Cuál sería el... Para decir que después que nosotros habíamos comido. We have eaten. 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 Uh, yes. Eaten. Yeah, we have eaten. That's correct. Okay, the other one is like to phone. Before Ken ran to Kerr's house, he... Él había ya, lo había llamado. ¿Cómo digo yo? Él lo había llamado. Look at this one. He has called. Had. Yes, he had a call. Had called. You have to use the verb in parentheses. So, um, before Ken ran to Carrie's house, he had phoned him. Entonces nos quedaría had phoned him. After they... Um, ¿Por qué no, no usar call? Porque son we can use phone, we can use call, are synonyms. Mm -hmm. It is the same thing, but yeah. in this case, the verb in parentheses, I think, is to phone. Exactly. It's just this. Yes, that's correct. So we are using the verb that is required in this exercise. So, number four, after date, mm -hmm. had, had packed. Okay. Yes. After they had packed their backpacks, they rode away on their bikes. Good job. So, you can see here the example. Yes. Um, remember that we use them as kind of synonyms, okay? And number five, help me with the number five, please. Had tall. Had tall, okay, great. Excellent. Look at the next one. Uh, number six. Look at number six. What is the number has, six? Has been. Uh huh. Had been so loud, right? Ya que el participio pues es el, el verbo be, que en este caso es ser o estar. Ahí estamos. Had been y also had told. Había dicho y había estado. Vamos con la siguiente. Uh, before the students started to write, the teacher um, había recogido, ¿cómo sería? Had collected. Yes. Had collected their mobile phones, right? Excellent job. Vamos con el siguiente. Um, after Max, uh, después que Max había terminado, ¿cómo sería en inglés? After Max had finished. 
Yes, had finished. Look at this one. Look at that. So in that case, had collected, had finished. And the last one. And Laura repaired her glasses because her brother had broke. Had, had broken. Broke. broken. Had broken. broken right. Broken. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Entonces decimos que Laura reparó sus lentes porque su hermano los había roto. Entonces vemos que estamos usando el had y el siguiente verbo que es el verbo en participio. Entonces ustedes van a buscar, por ejemplo, en, las, en la red, eh, verbs in past participle. Vean el chat y van a buscar en la red los verbos en pasado participio. Y son los que tenemos que aprendernos para esa estructura. Porque son aquellos verbos que decimos ha corrido, ha cantado, ha usado, ha estudiado, ha vivido. Y es la mejor forma de aprendérselos es memorizarlos. Porque los verbos ya están establecidos. Es decir, que nosotros no modificamos ningún verbo. Ya los verbos ya están dados. Entonces, lo que tenemos que hacer es aprenderlos. Y pues será mucho más fácil el aprendizaje de los verbos. Y también de el pasado perfecto. Okay, students, we're about to finish the class, so we will continue working with the past perfect for tomorrow's class. Do you have any question before we finished? Or if not, um, have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, teacher. teacher. It was a Good pleasure, night. guys. Thank you so Bye. much. Bye, guys. Sure for your help. You, you too. Good night to everybody. Welcome, tomorrow. you know, Sue. What was a pleasure to have you here, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.